Hi, I'm Jeff Harrison. I'm, uh, I want to welcome you to uh, my uh, gym at home. And right behind the camera, I have a Oh, like about a four foot by five foot mirror that I use extensively when I'm working on my golf swing. I encourage all of you to use mirrors. They're very, uh, very valuable for learning. Today I want to talk specifically about planes and what that means to your golf swing. So the first thing I want to talk about is your spine has a certain plane when you take your posture. When you take your posture, you have a certain angle that your spine has, uh, has uh, created. This creates this angle so your arms can just hang down naturally from your shoulders. If you can see in the video, basically from my shoulders to my hands, they're just hanging down comfortably. When you create this angle, what happens is your shoulders, as long as you maintain this angle and you turn from your core, you can see this angle created by my shoulders. We call this a shoulder plane. If we stay on that same plane, then we create pretty consistent contact. What tends to happen is when people swing, they swing with their arms and hands, and you can see how abruptly the angle changes and it really interferes with good contact. So when you're working on this, keep your posture the same as you turn your stomach back and you turn your stomach through, causing the weight to shift. And you notice it's a, it looks like a down and through motion. It's gonna feel very down and through, but now we understand that when we went back on this angle, we're going to come through basically on the same angle. That's staying on plane. Now you can clearly see my spine has the same angle as it began with. If I change up and down, my shoulders will turn 90 degrees off of my spine. So that means all of a sudden this line is pointed not at my target line, but somewhere out in space. And I have to do something to compensate for that. I'll generally do that with my hands. So once again, I get my posture. I turn back. See my shoulders are down low, and I turn through again. There's my impact position, and I finish. Now my shoulders can come up level. If you work on that shoulder plane, it'll make a big difference in your contact, also the release of your shot as far as power. Have a great day. I'm Jeff Harrison, and I look forward to seeing you soon.